get into this area. Uh, there's no question but uh, there's been egregious harm done to the Hawaiians in 1893 and 1898 with annexation, annexation that Grover Cleveland, by the way, fought. Uh, but there's no question that there's been egregious harm uh, done, in your phrase, by Howley's. Uh, that still begs the question that, that I haven't heard you answer yet as to why this, this outpouring of, of racism uh, and group bias, certainly group prejudice, uh, at, at best we could typify it as group prejudice, why this outpouring of, of prejudice against Caucasians uh, in uh, 1990? I mean, after all, as the Supreme Court said, once we can't turn the clock back, why this, this group, as you describe it, Professor Trask, hatred? I mean, is, you know, is that a healthy thing for the university? Just, me, I'm, not, I'm not questioning <laughs> your right to deal with let, it. Let me just say something. It, shame on you, Bob mm -hmm. Shame on you that you are so uninformed about the history of white supremacy and white genocide that you refuse to see that. What I am saying is, this is my country, which it certainly is Hawaii. historically. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And secondly, that white people owe an obligation to the native people of this land to understand that they are receivers of stolen goods. That's what I said to Mr. Carter. That's what I say every day to anybody who listen. That well, is a historical I, fact. I, I think Racism. That's, uh, that's why there's some question as to whether or not you ought to be the, the director of the Center no, there's for Hawaiian question, Studies, no, because there's, you are saying that every no, day. The, there's, mm -hmm. there's question about that because there's racism at the University of Hawaii against Hawaiians, specifically against me. I defined racism in my article, which you also conveniently left out. And what I said was that racism is a system of power where one racial, cultural, ethnic group exploits another separately identified group for the benefit of that group. Hawaiians do not have the power, and I certainly do not, to exploit or to abuse people of other groups. The power that white male supremacists have on that campus is absolutely appalling. Let me give you an example. Larry Loudon, the chair of the philosophy department, wrote a letter essentially defending sexual harassment to a student newspaper called Voices, a student publication. Oh, wait a minute. Now. Nobody, wait a minute. Let me Professor finish what Trash, I'm saying. Uh, let's not throw let up the smoke screen. This is, not a, this is not a smoke screen. Sexual harassment. This is not a smoke screen. I'm asking you, this is why, not, why are you proposing... Would you like to let me answer? Would well, you like to I, let I'd me, like you to answer this question. Let me answer the question. Why are you in favor of group let hatred? Me, let me answer the question. Mm -hmm. Why are if you in gonna, favor if, you, of, if you're not going to listen to me, I'm not going to answer. Let me answer the question. Okay, I am answer that question. I am explaining. I am answering mm -hmm. it. Unfortunately, you don't have the, the respect to listen to me. I am telling you what white racism is like on that campus. Right. They are trying to remove, there are 13 tenured Hawaiians on that campus. They are trying to remove one of the only tenured Hawaiians on that campus. There are 660 That's tenured you. white people. They're now, not to remove you racism, racism is a system of power. I do not have the power to call for Larry Loudon's removal because he defends sexual harassment. However, Larry Loudon can go directly, has a direct line to Al Simone, another white man, to say, I should be removed. Now, the question of resentment and hatred, absolutely Hawaiians have a right to resent and hate Howleys. Absolutely. They stole our land and they're benefiting from it. Let me give you an example. You go into someone's house and you say, this is my house. Get out. We're putting you in jail. We're getting rid of you. Would the people who are mistreated have a right to, to resent that? Would they have a right to hate that? That's what happened to us. Now, I am not the person who is saying that Professor Larry Loudon should be removed because I happen to believe in academic freedom, which Larry Loudon does not. I am saying, listen, Larry Loudon, you disagree with me, then you get up here on this show with Bob Reese, who is a mm -hmm. Howley, and you defend what you say. And where is he? He's not here. 